How you going everyone? It's Kai from Cool Collectibles. Today um, I thought I'd talk about something other than figures um, and about something that I've loved for almost a quarter of a century and that would be Street Fighter because um, I've just uh, received today the new 25th anniversary Art of Street Fighter book and I uh, thought that'd be a good time uh, to just go through some of the other Street Fighter stuff that I've got. Um, so if you sort of follow the page you probably already know that um, I'm a big Street Fighter fan and I've played it since uh, my high school days in 1991 and was when I first started playing Street Fighter um, back in you know the old ar arcade days and uh, pretty much eventually um, played for you know almost every single day for you know hours on end so um, Street Fighter sort of ingrained in, in who I am and uh, this is the the fight stick that I use uh, right now to play Street Fighter 4 uh, so this is the Ori um, Real Arcade Pro, uh, which is compatible with the PS3 and um, PC. So I use this to play. I mean, I'm not particularly um, uh, very good at the game. Um, I'm sort of, you know, probably C grade if you want to grade it. Um, but um, you know, I enjoy playing with um, friends and other other people online. So um, if you're on a PlayStation 3 or, or PC, um, definitely a comment below and with your user ID and so on, and I'll um, try and. Uh, catch up with you guys online uh, for some battles because um, I definitely love playing uh, Street Fighter 4 which you can see here I mean this came out quite a few years ago and I actually missed the original release and I only got into the game in Super Street Fighter 4 uh, but what a difference it was um, compared to you know Street Fighter 2 and, and Street Fighter 3 after that I really missed out on playing Street Fighter 3 um, in the arcades and never really got into it. Uh, by the time you know I finished playing Street Fighter Alpha, Alpha Two and Three, um, you know that was I was probably back in in working stage out of university at that point. So um, you know Street Fighter Three came out at the wrong time. But when Street Fighter Four came out, um, you know I'd been working for quite a while and probably had a bit of spare time. And once friends got into um, you know Street Street Fighter Four, um, I gradually got back into it. And now. I've got the latest Ultra Street Fighter 4, so that's what we're playing now. And I guess, you know, because of all that and that history with Street Fighter, I've always had a love of the characters and the love of the art. So, you know, quite a few years ago I got these, um, the full collection of, of all the original comics that uh, Udon uh, collated together. So this was the first series with the Ryu cover. And this one is with the uh, Ken cover. Now I think they did some separate books with I think Chun Li on the cover as well, which I didn't bother getting. Um, but mainly, you know, I don't buy these to to sort of read through the comics, but mainly just to um, collect the the artwork really, because um, it's the characters and the artwork that that I really love. And so once I heard recently that the new 25th anniversary book was being released and I saw some of the um, the teaser pics of all the artwork that would be included um, I just had to have it and I've only had a quick skim through uh, myself now um, and it certainly does include a lot of artwork that I remember seeing online for the 20th anniversary uh, but because I never got that version um, I just had to have this and there's definitely a lot of art in here that's not in the comics and um, other source material that I have so I'll just give you guys a quick look through the book you know there's all there's obviously a heavy focus on on Chun-Li throughout it because you know she is one of the main characters but um, the the artists and the artwork that they've included in here is really spectacular it covers you know the full 25 year history of of Street Fighter um, so you know going back to the early days um, you know even some of the I guess you would call extended universe and fan um, fan type artwork. Uh, so you know Chun Li is always going <laughs> to focus pretty heavily on in any of that. Uh, but reuse the character that um, I've played for you know close to to 23 years now. Um, so Ryu and Ken were the, the characters I started out with in in Street Fighter 2 um, and continued playing through you know all the the variations leading up to to Street Fighter 4. Um, I never really got into any of the charge characters like Guile and, and even Chun-Li herself so um, I'm not really particularly any good at any of those characters um, but I do certainly love the the movie and the, the sort of um, 
uh, history behind them all and all the characters. So here's some of the artwork on some of the female characters. So Cammy is another one of the the iconic ones out of out of the line. Um, you get some sort of the the sprites from Street Fighter 2. So some of the artwork here is just really really awesome. So I'll just quickly flip through. You, know, you get artwork from um, all different sort of lines, even some of the the weird Japanese um, series, some of the artwork from the the latest games, you know, the Sea Viper, um, even some of the prototype sort of artwork for for the games and um, the latest uh, characters coming out in Street Fighter Four and so on, the Ultra Street Fighter Four. Um, you know, going back to the these are the characters from the uh, Street Fighter Alpha days. So there's Birdie. And Charlie down there, so I love the sort of history behind Charlie and Guile. And these are all I love how they've included all the the sort of you know Street Fighter 2 Turbo sprites and, and characters. So they've really covered all the bases in, in this particular book. Um, and then, you know I guess that's fitting for a 25 year anniversary book. Um, I think this is from the Super Puzzle Fighter which I also have on, on PlayStation. Um, even my kids love playing that, so I've, because I guess it's more of a, a brain game as well, I've, I've let them have a couple of goes at that as well. So I love how they've included those sprites in there. And so here's some of the Street Fighter 3 stuff from Third Strike. Um, you know, playing this when uh, they released it on, on PlayStation 3, I could see why a lot of people sort of fell out of favor with it. Um, it's probably the most technical um, game in the Street Fighter line. There's you know so much timing and technique that's needed, and I think Street Fighter, you know, two started it, but Street Fighter four sort of has found that um, fine balance between uh, a technical game that you know pros can play as opposed to you know just any old person coming in and, and having fun with it, which I think Street Fighter four does um, really really well. So here are all the new Street Fighter four characters, and that artwork is just amazing. You know, you love, oh, I love looking at how the characters have evolved over the years. Um, you know, they're different interpretations from different artists. Um, what else? So this is the Alpha and Alpha 2 days. This is just amazing stuff. So I, I got this off of um, Amazon for about uh, $25, I think. Um, they had it on sale, so I just couldn't resist. And it was only released last week, I think. Um, and it didn't take very long for it to come, so um, I'm definitely glad I, I picked this up because um, it's definitely, for a Street Fighter fan, um, there's just definitely so much artwork that um, is awesome to have. And I just noticed here that I've never seen that before, the uh, Battle of the Planets in Ryu there. <laughs> How cool is that? I love that. So... So if, if you haven't heard about this book, I mean, I didn't hear about it until I stumbled across it on, on Amazon. Um, and if you're anywhere near a, a Street Fighter fan, you know, no matter what, what game or what series, um, I would definitely be picking this up. Um, it looks like they do one of these books every five years or so. Um, and this has all the latest stuff from um, everything up until Ultra Street Fighter 4. So uh, definitely look into getting it if you're a fan. Um, I'm loving it. And, um, you know, I'll probably spend a bit more time just slowly flipping through the pages and just absorbing all the, the artwork and the amazing stuff that, that's in here. So um, definitely check it out if you can. It's on Amazon. Um, I'll try and link it in the, the description so you can go have a look at the listings themselves. But I'm sure you can get it from you know, places like the Book Depository and wherever else you can um, get some decent books. So um, I hope you guys like that quick look and uh, just a brief history on you know why I love Street Fighter and why it means I guess so much in you know it's been a big part of my life growing up um, just playing the game you know people sort of underestimate how much impact that sort of has you know these sorts of things in your childhood and stuff um, and uh, yeah I'll, I'll never forget Street Fighter I'll always play it until you know my hands <laughs> my hands can't grip that fight stick anymore so and here's a bit of um, interview stuff with the the artists and so on so I'll definitely spend some time reading through this and I'm just enjoying everything that is Street Fighter. So yeah, 
Hope you guys like that quick look. Definitely get out, um, get out there and, and have a look at it if you're a fan. Um, for the price, um, it's definitely worth having, um, and uh, it'll always be something that I'll look back on um, with uh, you know affection. So, um, thanks for watching anyway, and um, uh, keep up to date with um, a whole bunch of other stuff that I've got coming from Big Bad Toy Store soon. So, click that subscribe button and um, uh, stay tuned. Uh, I'll talk to you guys soon. Thanks. Bye.